Norfolk City Councilwoman is now weighing in on the controversy surrounding a new veteran owned brewery. Leadership at Armed Forces Brewing are accused of having divisive values. The business will take over the O'Connor Brewing Company space in Ghent when it closes a little later this month. And Dana Smith joins us in the studio now with more on this backlash. Dan, Delegate Jackie Glass posted a video on her social media accounts pointing to quote anti LGBTQI plus values at Armed Forces Brewing Company. The company's CEO, however, says that's not the case. I could have done more due diligence in vetting than Armed Forces Brewing Executive Leadership. Full stop. Delegate Jackie Glass is voicing concerns about Armed Forces Brewing Company on social media. And the recent discovery this week of the company's leadership, divisive and anti-LGBTQI plus values. Although she did not name any specific examples of divisive values, the company's director of military relations, Robert J. O'Neill, attracted controversy earlier this year after he criticized the Navy for using an active duty drag queen as a digital ambassador. He wrote in part on Twitter, I can't believe I fought for this. O'Neill is a former Navy SEAL and part of the team that killed terrorists Osama bin Laden. The brewing company's military-focused promo videos feature O'Neill with guns and grenades. My values don't align with those of the Armed Forces Brewing leadership, my personal values. Reached for comment, the CEO of Armed Forces Brewing Company, Alan Beal, said he's disappointed Glass did not contact him with her concerns. He said in part, Armed Forces Brewing Company respects and embraces all of the military, veteran, and patriotic community, which is made up of a very diverse group of Americans. There are a lot of red flags. Norfolk Councilwoman Andrea McClellan is also voicing concerns about the company after researching their social media. The rhetoric and um, the, uh, the use of guns shooting things up, it just seems to be counterintuitive to the message that we're trying to send here. The Brewing Company CEO also said his company supports many nonprofits that raise money for veterans, quote, regardless of their gender, gender identification, race, religious or political beliefs. Back to you now.